Good evening, today is Tuesday, October 17, 2023, jump date for Wednesday the 18th. All right, let's go. Well, no setups going into tomorrow, only a couple in here after going through a couple thousand stocks tonight and then my momentum list. Just, there's just not a whole lot out there at the moment. Obviously, as conditions, conditions change, we should start, start seeing, easy for me to say, setups. Once again, not a fantastic day to portfolio. We'll take a look at that. In just one second. ELF still looks like a possible short in here. Obviously, we're already short that, so I don't need stops just in case. PWR still looks like a short in here, but it does have support as it drops further and further, or should it drop further and further in that. So just not a whole lot to look at. Energy's made new highs today, so maybe if they can keep making new highs, we'll start to see some setups there. And we'll just keep an eye out for setups there and everywhere else, as we normally do. Let's take a look at the portfolio real quick, and then let's pop out to the overall market elf bit of a rally there obviously on your stops just in case kbh kbh rallying but still in a pretty serious downtrend so far still falling tops in place just getting barely above that 50 simple moving average take a look at knf tried to rally came back in still looks okay longer term but you know me i sure like to see it clear the top of this range decisively before correcting at all before correcting i should say flatsville and lfmd not a whole lot to report there but so far Hanging in there. I sure like to see its momentum pick up again, but so far so good. There. Let's take a look at the overall market and do some drilling down as we normally do. First of all, let's take a look at the P's. That's the P500. Bit of a rally off its best levels, but a decent rally nonetheless after a weak start. Bit of an opening lap reversal, I suppose. In this case, still landry like below the 50 simple moving average. And so far, still below the 50 moving average, 50 day moving average. Obviously, let's take a look at the NASDAQ composite. NASDAQ composite, decent rally, just kind of pushing into that 50. So far, that's a little bit of resistance, or it had been, it has been a little bit of uh, resistance. Still has a big, bigger picture top look to it, at least on the daily chart. Take a look at the Rusty. Decent rally there off its best levels, but still ugly, as it has been quite a bit. Serious downturn remains intact, and then much, much, much longer term sideways at Best energies managed to close at all time highs. Let's just see what happens here. I'm still seeing shorts setting up here. A lot of them have a lot of support below and they're wide and loose, so they're not worth going after. But it is kind of interesting that in spite of energies closing at all time highs, I am seeing some shorts. So let's just see how this shakes out. I'm guessing if we do have some upside follow through, then we'll go back to looking for longs and the energies a lot of areas still remain in downtrend there's foods take a look at financials still looking pretty ugly in here kind of a bigger picture wide and loose looking top formation drugs kind of just look like they're retracing in here a few big updates would certainly make them look a heck of a lot better but so far they're still looking questionable at best biotech has rolled over as you can see it so far it's just kind of crawling back up toward that 200 day moving average in this particular case health services pretty serious downtrend just kind of pull back in here manufacturing the top looks like it remains in place they're kind of chopping around in between the 50 and the 200 ditto for the material and construction stocks in here moh is one that's uh, on my minimalist on the downside could set up fairly soon if it want a little bit more of a pullback retail just kind of pull it back in here after this recent slide still looking pretty ugly there so the point is even though we had a bit of a bounce, most areas still looking questionable at best. Most areas remain in downtrends and so far have just pulled back. Semiconductors were kind of all over the place, but so far their rollover appears to remain intact here based on this recent little slide back below the 50 simple moving average. So it's still pretty ugly out there. Let's just let things shake out and see where the market takes us. And of course, and as usual, let's wait for setups. Everybody have a great night. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you so much.